del Rosario. My students call me Miss Karina. Thank you for joining me. I am a cultural worker and visual teaching artist. Now, um, you might not be familiar with the term cultural worker. What, what is that? Um, well, basically, in addition to using visual art, I also use other things uh, like poetry or writing to build community. I think stories uh, can help us connect with each other. And I especially like it when uh, stories can go along with a picture or a piece of art. A lot of times we're, we think about um, that phrase, uh, a picture is worth a thousand words. So we're gonna kind of play with that idea. We're not gonna use a thousand words, but we are gonna use words in a process that's called ekphrasis. Ekphrasis is basically a fancy word to say that we're using literary, uh, literary description for a visual art. Um, so we're using words to describe in a poetic way or a literary way an image that we're looking at. So for today, I'm gonna to use the image that uh, is important to me and it's in, in an important place to me and it's Chief South Trail. I had made a collage out of it the last time. So the Chief South Trail photo and then here's my fun little collage of it. Okay, so what you're gonna to need today is um, either a picture or a collage or artwork of a place that's really important to you. And uh, you'll need a notebook or piece of paper and also a pen. So you can use my um, picture of the Chief South Trail as an example if you don't have one handy. Um, or you can uh, get a picture right in front of you but as long as you're following my voice and my instructions, I think you'll uh, be able to uh, write beautifully uh, about this place. So let's take a look at this image of the, that's in front of us, um, the Chief South Trail. Take a look at all the different parts of it. What I'd like you to do is pick one object or character from your picture, just one. Think about which one um, stands out to you or is interesting to you. Now what I'd like you to do is open a page in your notebook and you're gonna do some brainstorming. So for uh, brainstorming, we're just gonna come up with words uh, and not judge them right away, right? But I want you to think of some specific words. I want you to think about what this object that you picked from your picture, what is it doing? Come up with verbs or adverbs for what your object is doing. Come up with about five to seven words. Okay, so I'll give you a moment to think of those words. Now, sometimes I will get stuck, I'll come up with three really fast. Um, but I'm asking for you to come up with five or even seven words just to push yourself a little bit more, okay? So you might be surprised, but um, I chose the electrical tower from my picture. And then the words that I came up with were um, standing, towering, rigidly, Rigidly is an adverb. Uh, powering, connecting, zapping, extending, and reaching. Okay? So I actually came up with eight because I kind of got on a roll after a little while. Okay. So now the next thing I want you to do is um, 
that thing you chose to write uh, five to seven um, action words about, verbs and adverbs, can you imagine that you're that thing? You're that character or object from your picture. Now, um, this time what we're gonna do is, as we're picturing ourselves as that thing, I want you to ask yourself, how are you feeling? What are you feeling as that object or character? Here's an opportunity for us to use our imagination and maybe some um, empathy to try to imagine what it's like to be that thing. Okay, so this time, maybe come up with three to five feeling words. So take a moment to do that. So the words that I came up with as an um, electrical tower um, that would capture how I'm feeling being this electrical tower on top of a hill, um, tired, bored, uh, longing, hot, and alert. Okay, so those are some examples of feelings that I'm having as an electrical tower. Now what we're gonna do next is use these notes, use these ideas to come up with a short poem uh, or a short story about, uh, with the main character being the object or character that you chose. So the main um, character in my uh, short story or poem is gonna be the electrical tower. I'm going to use it in the first person. So the, it's the electrical tower who's gonna be speaking in my short piece. Um, but take a moment to write on your own using your notes, using your um, verbs and adverbs and your feelings. And the own, it could be, it doesn't have, if you wanna make it a poem, it doesn't have to rhyme. The only thing that I challenge you to do is to use sensory words, sensory descriptions. So what does it sound like in that place in your picture? What does it smell like? What does it look like? If you could touch anything in that picture, what would it feel like in your to touch? Um, and this one's kind of weird. What could it taste like? You know. So go ahead and take a few moments to write um, a short story or a poem about that thing in your picture that you've chosen, and I'll share you mine in just a moment. Like I said, I chose Electrical Tower as my main character for this piece. Here's my poem. Standing apart from you, I can hear you crackling and buzzing. I want to turn to you, but I have to stay here, connecting others, powering their conversations instead of our own. My wires burn from energy pulsing within, from the hot afternoon sun. I long to turn, to leave our post, and join everyone else strolling on this path. So there's my poem as an electrical tower. I hope that you can um, be inspired to come up with your own poem, and maybe you can do that to any place that's important to you. Give yourself a chance to imagine being someplace, being something else, um, and use your own creativity to come up with something that uh, sounds good to you. All right, thanks again for joining me. Again, I'm Miss Karina. Del Rosario, cultural worker and teaching artist.